So I'm going to unbox and give you my first thoughts on this. It's the Ipivo Ducam. This is a new product just out on the 1st of August. It is a USB document camera, so it should plug into a computer with just one USB cable. It's 4K resolution. It's an eight megapixel camera with a maximum resolution of 3,264 by 2,448. Thanks very much to Ipivo for sponsoring this video. Ipivo make the highest quality visualizers available. You're looking at this through my VZX, which is an amazing visualizer. It's also 4K and it has USB connectivity and also a HDMI and it's got wireless. But the problem with it is, is it comes with a really heavy base. So this Ducam is a very different type of product from Ipivo. I'm really excited. I mean, look at the size of this box. And just for comparison, this is the box that the VZX came in. Let's get it unboxed. A message from IP Row there. Do what you love and share what you do. Oh, I couldn't agree more. That's a wonderful message to have. Some instructions there on how to set this up first time. Setting this up should be pretty much idiot proof though. Wow, well, there you go. I mean, just look at the size of that. I've used a lot of IPVO visualizers before. I've got the VZX and at school I use the V4K. And this really is the natural successor to the V4K. It is the same kind of specs, it's got the same sort of image sensor, but look at the size of that package. For carrying around from classroom to classroom as I will be doing a lot this year, that is a wonderful compact design of visualizer. I think that's really impressive. That's some really good design from IPVO. And I'm sure I'm gonna get an awful lot of use of that. So let's just get this set up and see what it actually looks like. And let's compare it to how the VZX looks. It's just one cable, USB, it took me about 10 seconds to set up. You just, a bit of force, pull up the camera section, unclip the base. It's on this really sturdy metal base and it's got this stiff plastic two-arm design. I do find this hinge design better than the flexible cords of some visualizers. So this, you can place it in place and be confident that it's gonna sit there exactly and not shake as you write. Let's switch to the Ducam now. That's it there. It's at the same height as the previous one. It should be pretty much the same image. It doesn't have a manual focus button, but the autofocus is pretty snappy. It's pretty good. And it will focus quite close on whatever you put in front of it. So you'll be confident that within a moment it's going to focus on whatever it is that you're putting in front of it. That's really good. Something that I'd typically be doing with a visualizer would be going through some exam questions. Put this under here and you'll see it will focus pretty quick. And I can model to students how to solve these exam questions. So state the unit of magnetic flux density, that's the Weber and magnetic flux got this wrong actually <laughs> that's the tesla <laughs> and magnetic flux is the weber <laughs> i want to pop these two side by side so you can really see if there's any difference between the quality of the vzx or the ducam so they're both looking at the same thing and I would say that they're pretty similar, but I would say there is a slightly higher quality with the VZX than the Ducam. That's not really a surprise though, it is the more expensive visualizer. And I think there's a trade-off that you need to think about. Do you want the ultra portability of the Ducam or do you want a visualizer that is really high quality that's gonna stay in one place? So the Ducam isn't gonna take the place of the VZX on my desk, but what it is really brilliant for is for carrying around. So I would recommend if you're considering buying a visualizer that you look at something like the VZX or the VZR, if you want to leave it stationary in a classroom, if you're gonna be in the exact same classroom or maybe in a lecture theater all the time, I think that's an excellent thing. But what the IPVO Ducam is gonna do for me is exactly what it's meant for really. It's going to slip in a bag if I have to change classroom or if I have to go to a meeting and I want to present with a document. This is an excellent solution for slipping in your laptop bag. Thanks again to IPVO for helping make this video possible. I use IPVO document cameras because of their excellent build quality and because they seamlessly integrate with the e-learning apps that I want to use. 
My students get lots of benefit from watching me solve exam questions live on the visualizer at the front of the classroom. And as a science teacher, I love using visualizer to record and display and to share demonstrations of science experiments. I don't have to think twice about setting up the cameras. I just love the way they look and they feel to use and how they fit onto my desk. I Pivo are the leading document camera manufacturer for very good reason. And thanks again for sponsoring this video. I'm going to come back with a longer full review video later. This first one is just a bit of an unboxing and first thoughts. So I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to use it at home and I'm going to see how portable it is in school. I think this is an amazing solution and I think this is a great addition to the IPVO lineup.